Good morning from Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're here for a family fun day. We are. Yeah, we got Genie Plus, so we're gonna go do all kinds of fun stuff. Our first thing that we've got is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Genie Plus was $26 a person and $29 for Park Hopper, but it was also $29 for Magic Kingdom, so you might as well just get a Park Hopper Genie Plus if you're going to Magic Kingdom. Right. Which I thought was interesting. So, but yeah, I think this little buddy is ready to go inside. Yeah. So let's go find something to do. Like we said, we did get Genie Plus, so we have a reservation for Mickey and Minnie's a little bit later today, like in a, an hour. So we have time to go and do a ride right now. So let's go do Star Tours and see the new scenes. So as we walk over to Star Tours, I wanted to give you guys a look at some of the current wait times. So right now it is about 1045 on a Sunday, April 7th. And you can see some weights are short, some weights are long. The more popular attractions are, of course, longer. But then things like Star Tours is only a five minute wait. Lightning McQueen Racing Academy is only a 15 minute wait. So you can pick and choose your day and plan out your day depending on what you want to do and depending on the thrill level that you want to do too. Like Slinky Dog Dash was a very long wait this morning. So if you're not interested in roller coasters, you won't have to worry about that. All right, we're heading into Star Tours. Only a five minute wait. The adventure continues. Said it was only a five minute wait, but we've got a little bit of extended queue out here underneath the AT-AT. -AT. Oh, it's doing it. Doing it. Thank you. All right, buddy, you ready? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think is gonna happen? Uh, we're flying. We're gonna fly. That's right. Millennium Falcon. Hold it right there, Captain. I'm not actually the captain. We're looking for this rebel spy. What are we looking for? That's Captain Jackson. We're looking for you, Jackson. That's you. You're the rebel spy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, thank you. We gotta get this rebel spy out of here. Whoa, where are we? Where did we end up? We're going pod racing. Oh. Are you an angel? Whoa. Whoa. Mission. We're back out of space. There's the Andor. This is Andor. Andor with an urgent mission from the Rebellion. With each day, the Empire grows more and more powerful. We need your help right now to fight back. Head to the coordinates I'm transmitting to you. Together we can win this. One way out. Oh! That was a bump. Oh my goodness. Space whales. We did it. There she is, it's so good. Just get inside the whale's mouth. Let's go! That's where we want to be. Oh, woo! Guys, we love Star Tours. Appreciate the help. All right. Safe travels. Let's go. All right, just act normal, buddy. Just act casual. Don't let anybody know that you're a rebel spy. You know? This kid on cloud nine right now. Look at that. There she is. Right there. Something special about you? Yeah, what happened? Tell me oh, yeah, you can't tell her too loud. Wait, come over here. Let's get out of the Let's way. get out of the walkway. Can't tell her too loud. We don't want too many people to know. Tell me what, what, what was your secret? You're the rebel spy. Yes, yeah, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> keep it down. He goes, I was the rebel spy. Yes, my what? goodness. What? What happened? Why did that happen, Jackson? Because I have a hat on. Because you're wearing that hat. <laughs> that's all rebel spies wear this goofy hat. Buddy, that's cool. There is some new merch 
around four Star Tours. Oh yeah, you're the Rebel Spy. It's got Goofy on it too. Nice work, bud. Yes, sure. Caution. Child eats frogs. All right, so now that we're done with Star Tours, let's start heading towards Galaxy's Edge because I believe we can meet Goofy over here. Sometimes Max, but I think definitely Goofy. All right, here comes Goofy and Max just before we get into Galaxy's Edge. This is where they're at. Look at that. He's walking. He's waving at everybody. Max bebopping along. Max has quite the swagger, doesn't he? Who do you see? Who is it, buddy? He goes, look. Wolf. He's like, I don't know if you see this over there, guys, but... There are uh, two gigantic dogs standing <laughs> well, over there. He goes, woof. Yeah. You ready to meet Goofy, Oliver? I think so. He keeps He's going, like, woof. Even woof. he knows. Even, Even he, he knows, knows that dog. Goofy's a dog. <laughs> All right, Jackson, you ready? Woof. Woof. That's you. That's He's you. On it. The Goofy's on his head. Hat. Fist bump. It's too bad we don't have a Max hat. Right? They should make a Max I know. hat. I know. You want to give Max a hug too? Oh, yeah. yeah, but I should have one. Boom. Say oh, hi. Oh, <laughs> Oliver's like, what's happening? You want to say hi to Goofy? He's, he's never met somebody as tall as you before. You're the tallest person he's ever seen. Are you not sure? Oh, he's a you want to say hi to Max, Oliver? You want to say hi to Max? Oh, sorry. Oh, he said hi to Max. Nice. Whoa, whoa. It's <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Jackson's the rebel spy. You were the rebel spy. We weren't supposed to tell anybody. I know. But now it's like broadcasting out on his shirt. Just be very quiet, right? Oh yeah, we gotta go to Batu. Whoa, being wild. Oh yeah, you can do that with your ears. Oh, not sure. Okay. You weird. want to take a picture with them, Jackson? Can we take a picture? Jackson's pulling me with all of his might into Galaxy's Edge. I think he's trying to tell everybody that he's the rebel spy, and we're like, what? You, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. All right, so now it's almost noon. It's like 11:40, so we're gonna head over to ABC Commerce here and get some lunch. It was a good thing you were wearing your hat. You've gotten a lot of lucky things. You got to see Goofy. You're the rebel spy. Oh my goodness. All kinds of stuff happens when you're wearing a Goofy hat. <laughs> also wanted to point out that Donald and Daisy are meeting over here next to the DVC thing and across from the Baseline like Tap the House. So just on the other side of this is Star Tours. And we're going to turn left and head to ABC Commissary right here. Heading into ABC Commissary. I like this because they have different like outfits and stuff from the shows on ABC. All right, so we got our food from ABC Commissary. It took a really long time. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is a grilled cheese, half a grilled cheese. It had fat. so fast. Oh, that, that's mine. Yes, yeah. yes. No, this one's yours, right? So the you. kids' grilled cheese is a ham and cheese grilled cheese, and we had to modify it, so we did it without the ham. I didn't change the price. Yeah. But he'll eat it now. We got some pork tacos. <laughs> we got some black beans and some Mexican rice. We got a side of Mexican rice. They told us that it was just like lime rice. No, they like said it. that it. I asked if it was spicy, and she said that the like what could be spicy is the lime. Oh, like okay. acidic, like citric acid, spicy, you know? Okay. But I, he's had lime. He's eaten a lot of it. Lovely. We're going to try it. And we also got the buffalo chicken grilled cheese. This is what took the longest. I feel like I, I thought it was going to look different. I thought it would look a little bit nicer. Yeah. I don't. I didn't think it was going to be so, like, gooey. Yeah. Well, it has cream cheese in it. Uh, all right. So the baby, he did try the rice. It wasn't spicy. Yeah. Oh no, Jackson figured out that his pencil lead can come out and now we have, oh no. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up at ABC Commissary. One thing that we've realized since becoming parents is that coming to Disney World and like doing anything takes a long time. <laughs> like we were there eating lunch for like an hour and a half. Were we? But like it wasn't, it's not like we were trying to like take our time. No. We were like trying to get everybody fed. Yeah. And like it just took a long time. Also, so, the food took a little bit of time to come out. Yeah. But the food was pretty good. But it did work to our advantage because now our fast passes are ready. Our lightning lanes are ready. We can go ride our it. rides. Yeah. We did it. But yeah, the food was pretty good. It wasn't like I would write home about it, but it was still tasty. It was a tasty meal. I'm writing a letter right now. Oh, to who? A strongly worded letter to... Your home? My home. <laughs> writing home about it. Dear home. My dearest home. All right, now to use our lightning lane because 
Mickey and Minnie's did go down for a minute. Oh, no. And so we have a lightning lane for any time to come back and ride it. So we're gonna ride it right now. All right, so change of plans. Jackson, for some reason today, does not want to ride this. He's like very adamant about not riding Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway today. Good news, uh, because Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway went down, we have a fast pass or a lightning lane for anything. We were just gonna try to use it for Mickey and Minnie's, but because it went down, they gave us a fast pass for any other thing that we wanna do. But we also have a fast pass for a Toy Story Mania right now. So we're gonna go back and ride Toy Story Mania and then we'll find something else to do with our fast pass that was supposed to be for Mickey and Minnie's. So that'll be fun. It's just so interesting because he's ridden it before. Yeah. And it's funny how things change so quickly. So he said what he didn't like was the part in the pre-show where the pie goes into the smokestack on the on the train and it like blows up and that's like where you go into the screen and you go into the queue, you know? Yeah. So he doesn't like that part anymore. And I think you can skip it. Yeah, I, I, I said we should ask and see. And he's like, no, I just don't want to ride it. Yeah, so, so like, okay. I don't know, things change. One day kids love a ride, the next day they don't want to do it. Yeah. We just have to kind of roll with it, you know? So we are heading back into Toy Story Land because we're going to ride Toy Story Mania. I always want to call it Toy Story Midway Mania. It used to be oh. called that. Yeah, I know. That's a dog with a pink tail. All right, here we go. He's got his Toy Story shirt on. Oh, it's the day of play. Look at this. So we're headed into Toy Story Mania. Get on the lightning lane. So, like, why don't they sell this as a souvenir? I'd buy that bear. He's like, look, look, look. He goes, look. What do you see, buddy? Like, look at that. Look at that. that? Look at this. Big, big Woody. All right. Potato head. Potato head. Oh, He's like, I just want to hold on to this railing. Buddy, look at the size of these cards. What, what, what game is that? It's being silly. That's right. This is a Crayola box. All right, Jackson. You ready to win? Yeah. Yeah? How are you going to win? Yeah, play the game. Jackson, who's gonna win? You or Daddy? You? All right. Good luck, bud. Sounds like Rebel Spy talk. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blaster view. Pew 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 pew. Whoa whoa whoa! Seahorse. Hey, partners! Welcome to the practice game. Alright, we did pretty good on that one. Nice work, buddy, nice work. Alright, now I'll just break some plates here. Oh, a thousand points. Oh. Alright, buddy. How do you think you did? You think you did really good? Oh, let's see. Let's see if we won. Oh, nice work, buddy. Good job, yeah. You won. You won. Nice work, buddy. You did really good. I'm very proud of you. You gotta remember your score, 164,000. That's how you know if you beat mommy or not. Oh, looks like somebody likes the villain. <laughs> Uh-oh. I love this though, it oh, smells no. so good. What? Oh, shoot. Well, this smells like strawberries? Yeah. A little dirty. I like this is like manufactured dirt. They have a clean one right next to it. Maybe it has be uh, beans in its butt though. It's got beans in its butt and he don't it's care. It's like very heavy. Oh, heavy beanie butt. <laughs> Making our way out of Toy Story Mania. I like this area, it's very nice. This this is like, in the sun it's hot today, but in the shade right here, it's so perfect. I could fall asleep right here, right on top of this this ground right here. Just fall asleep, right here. Could you do that? No? Okay, yeah, I figured you would, maybe not. Connects. I used to play with Connects all the time when I was a kid. What? What do you see? Dice. Oh, the dice. What, what numbers are on there? Three and one. Oh, oh yeah. What three, does that equal? What's three plus one? Four. Very good. Do you remember when all these walls were like all the rage? Yeah. Popsicle wall. Yeah. I remember everybody was like, gotta get my picture on the popsicle wall. Yeah. What happened Not to anymore. that? So since we're over here in Toy Story Land, we've got one more fast pass. I think we're going to use it for alien swirling saucers. Oh, did you want to use it for... Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Let me see if I can make one for alien twirling sausage right now. Okay. And then well that way it'll be easier. So Jen and Jackson are going to ride alien twirling saucer and I'm gonna see if this baby will fall asleep. Right? Alright, there they are, they're in their seats over there. Time to do some alien swirling. Well, 
over. That was so fast. So we stopped off at Market Snacks because we wanted to get a cookie. Look at the size of that cookie, buddy. Can you show it to me? How big is it? How big is it? That's really big. That was a big old cookie. All right, Jackson's eating his cookie and he gave me my part to share. Oh. All right, the baby finally fell asleep. He's very asleep. Yeah, that's he's good. Got, he's got the fans on him. He's yeah. covered. He's good. But so I saw earlier that there was a frozen Coke stand. I'm getting one. Yeah. Not the stand's not frozen. It's a stand that sells frozen Cokes. What if that's all it would be so It's just a frozen Coca-Cola stand. Can't <laughs> well, buy anything. It's so just cold. iced over. <laughs> PB's Polar Pipeline frozen Coca-Cola concoctions. You can get a blue raspberry Fanta, a frozen lemonade, or a frozen Coca-Cola. And I've always heard that this particular Rocketeer prop right here was from the movie. Like a screen used Rocketeer props back here. You got a frozen lemonade? Did you hold it? It's very cold. Is it, I was the, did you drink some? All right, so we turned down Sunset Boulevard because we're heading to see Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy right now. Oh look, they have the suitcase out for Tower of Terror for photo ops. So we found this really cool photo spot here with one of the photo pass cast members where you can hold a suitcase in front of the Tower of Terror. Let's see. Look how cool. Was that cool or what? Thank you. Yeah, that was cool. Ooh, I've never seen that. That's a new one to me. I've never seen that before. Look at this. Tower of Terror is only 35 minutes right now. Admittedly, it's not too bad as far as crowd level goes. We're gonna walk this way over here to Rock and Roll. Oh, Rock and Roller Coaster is not operational at this time. Look at this Cadillac up above us, buddy. Who put it there? It's upside down. That's an upside down Cadillac. How is it even doing that? Who drives a Cadillac upside down? Yeah. We could get you some Affliction jeans and you could wear this Rock and Roller Coaster shirt. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm making this. is Probably somebody really likes this thing. This one's pretty cool, yeah. Like Pedal it. to the metal, full volume. Oh, Jackson's like, I'll take this Olaf. I had heard rumors of there being the jalapeno cream cheese pretzel back here, pretzel palooza. So I said, let's investigate. And uh, you lied to me. I didn't lie to you. <laughs> it might be there. But I can't see. Well, you know what you can do back here? Cornhole. The cornhole. Watch out. Looks like we've got a snoozer. Hey, Pat. Does he say a nodder? Whoa, dude, I'm an overdrive right now. Just DJ and Cruiser Mirror Racing over there. Academy. So we made it up to Lightning McQueen Racing Academy and we said, all right, Jackson, let's go inside. He said, no thanks. Oh, he wants to play cornhole. That's what he wants to do. Oh, you want to? All right, buddy, go for it. <laughs> oh, that was very close. It's coming close. Oh, if that had slid, it would have been in. Whoa. That was amazing. It's pretty good. I think that you got it right. Try one more time. That's good. There it is right there. Perfect. All right. I think that's going to do it for us from Disney's Hollywood Studios. We did get to ride three rides. We ate some lunch. We met Goofy. It was a good day, right? Yeah, it really was. The baby had a great nap. Right? I, ha I just like being in the parks. I like hearing the sounds of Disney. It was awesome. Yeah, the only thing that would make this better is if it was Christmas. Oh yeah, if it was colder outside, that would have yeah. made it a little bit better. But I did have a lot of fun. I got a frozen Coke. Oh yeah. My day was made. I do have to say that frozen lemonade, I feel like it made me thirstier though. This lemonade is making me thirsty. Is that what happens? Yeah. It was a fantastic day. Wouldn't you say so yourself, Bo? You would. That Wouldn't smile you? says it all. It does, doesn't I it? I feel like you haven't seen Bo in so long. I know. I can't believe he's still here. That smile. <laughs> that darn smile. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks for keeping the park safe for us, buddy. Yeah. You did good. <laughs> so all in all, it was a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> is that what Bo sounds That's what like? he sounds like. He's oh. a, I never knew. I never would have expected First that. First time hearing his voice. <laughs> now it's time to pay the price. <laughs>